Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. It's a long way from danger level. The bridge was built to stand against stronger storms than this. Maximum stress. We'll have to make a full checkup when it's over. I agree. Yes, but... Yes, yes, I agree, but... Yes, very well. There'll be no delay. You can rest assured of that, Minister. Mm. I, I appreciate the situation. Allington Bridge will be reopened as soon as we have checked there's no storm damage. Yes, I I've got my men working on it now. in this section are okay, Dave. The readings are normal. That completes the check. Right, Len. You make your way down. How about you, Kirby? How's it going? Oh, I'm clear. So's Jerry. Okay. Thanks, fellas. What'd you find out? Well, all the readings were normal, but... Just like all my instruments here said. Still think that spot check was worth it, eh? That was a bad storm we had. It could have severely weakened the structure of the bridge. It could have, but it didn't. I'm giving the orders for the bridge to be reopened. We've wasted enough time. With all due respect, sir, I think it would be very unwise. 
Let's wait until we've carried out some more tests. Look, Clayton, let me put you straight about a few points. I'm responsible for what goes on here. When you were out, I had the minister on the line again, and I gave him my promise that the bridge would open straight away. We've gone right over it and found nothing. Yes, but with a load that it's going to have to carry that it... That load, as you call it, is well within the capacity of the bridge. The Martian probe rocket must get to the takeoff site without a hitch. And we're going to make sure it doesn't get held up at Allington Bridge. <laughs> us over to England with the ship. These tuning up jobs would have taken another week. No, it wasn't done to give us a joyride. You know, if they don't meet this launching date, it'll be another four years before Mars is in the right position again. Yeah, I know. Well, that just about wraps it up. How about a cup of coffee? You know, I get a kind of funny feeling inside when I think about this baby. Maybe he ate something and disagreed with you. No kidding, Craddock. Yeah, just think. This rocket is all set to take off to Mars. All systems go. You know, it can take off. Just like that. What if something went wrong, Bill? Don't worry, nothing's gonna go wrong. You're not gonna get thrown into space. The countdown can't start until the rocket is upended into go position. Yeah, but all the same, now I... Now quit worrying, will you? You'll be back in San Diego with your wife and kids before they've even missed you. Is the picture satisfactory, Dowser? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, Parker. Say, look, Lady Penelope. Get a load of that huge ship. Isn't it something? I've given you quite a week cup. Is that all right? Americans usually prefer it that way. Oh, uh, thank you, Lady Penelope. Oh, gee, I, I sure bet Professor Wingrove and his boys are excited now that their project is nearing completion. It, it sure was nice of him to invite me over to England to watch the blast off. Oh, uh, uh, look, there's Professor Wingrove now. I dare say most of you will have read in your newspapers in England that because of the present position of Mars, the firing has to take place from this side of the ocean. A launching of this size without the facilities of Cape Kennedy would cause a lot of problems. But we have solved the situation by making the space vehicle under countdown completely automatic. Now, that's enough of that for the time being. I feel I would be failing in my duties as hostess if I didn't tell you that in my home, everything stops for tea. Now, tell me, Brains, how are Jeff and the boys keeping? What's up, kiddo? I'm poop, that's what's up. Well, well. You go for a short sprint round the island, you come back exhausted. You're not fit, that's the trouble with you. A kid like you ought to be able to take things like that in his stride. I don't get it. 
You fellas sit around all day waiting for the next meal, and you have the nerve to tell me I'm not fit. All right, boys, that will do. I know all this waiting between operations is killing, but we'll get a call for help soon enough, you'll see. Oh, I wish now I'd gone to England with brains to watch that Martian probe take off. Well, I gave you the chance. Why, Grandma? Grandma, what's the matter? Oh, dear. I've lost my personal edible transmitter, the one with the nice raspberry flavor that I like. That's serious. They're for use in emergency when anyone's captured and can't contact base. I remember seeing it on the kitchen shelf while I was fixing the apple pie for lunch, but now... Oh, dear, it's gone. And one of us has eaten it. Is that what you're trying to say, Grandma? Yes, Scott. That's it exactly. But that's ridiculous. We always know when we've eaten our edible transmitters. Not necessarily. Not now that Brains has been able to make them really small. Well, I had a light lunch before going training, so I can't have eaten Grandma's transmitter. Well, we've got to find out who has eaten it, or it might be blocking other signals. So, Grandma, you go and mix up some of that transmitter dissolver that Brains left the recipe for. All right, Jeff. Oh, dear, I'm awfully sorry. Oh, why don't I watch what I'm doing? What a terrible thing to happen. What's this about a transmitter dissolver? You mean it's some kind of medicine? Yeah. But first, we've got to find out who's got the transmitter inside them. Well, that means that one of us here in this room has swallowed the transmitter. That's right, Scott. So you go to your room, and we'll see what happens. Yes, Father. If you boys took the trouble to chew your food properly, we wouldn't have had this trouble. The light hasn't moved, Father. And Scott has left the room, so he can't have eaten it. All right, Gordon, you're next. You go to your room. Either you or Virgil has eaten the transmitter. Oh, but Father, I'd know if I'd eaten a transmitter. Go to your room, Gordon, and let's have no more of this childishness. All right, Virgil, it's you who ate it. Go to your room, and I'll send the medicine to you there. But Father... Go ahead, Virgil. The trouble in this place is you boys don't get enough to do. Uh, Father? What now? Father, the signal. Grandma said to bring this in, Mr. Tracy. Who should I give it to? <laughs> All right, Tintin. I'll go quietly. <laughs> Few miles yet. You've got to cross the Allington Suspension Bridge first. here for the rocket ship to cross. The bridge is closed to normal traffic. Yes, sir. The leading escort vehicles have just started across. Goodbye. And it would appear that everything is proceeding exactly to schedule. And let's hope that we're not the ones to ruin it, Clayton. You're not still on about that. You know as well as I do that this bridge can take the weight of this spacecraft easily. Now, for heaven's sake, let's not hear any more about it. Bridge can take the weight okay and evenly distributed traffic. And it can it in one solid mass. <laughs> Once 
we cross the bridge, we're not far from the launch site. And boy, well, I'd be glad to get out and stretch my legs for a bit. <laughs> The particular bridge was constructed 42 years ago as the link in the mighty north-south superhighway. The transporting of the Martian probe rocket has caused a temporary diversion. Through traffic today is being directed over the Hollis Bridge. The tonnage indicator is at maximum. The rocket was going to go as slow as this. Never mind. It looks as if the bridge can take it. Countdown started. The impact must have started the countdown. We're gonna be blown to pieces. What do you plan to do when we get to the bridge, Brains? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure. It'll depend on how bad it is. It said on television there were men working inside. Do you... do you think they're still alive? I... just don't know. I don't think I give much for their chances. Everything's in control, sir. Yes? We've ordered three floating cranes from the Ellington docks. They're here. Oh, uh, apparently they've arrived, sir. We'll soon have the men up. Yes? We'll be handling the rescue from here. We haven't managed to make radio contact yet. We will, just as soon as the divers get a line down there. Anybody hear us? Come in, please. What are they doing up there? Three hours gone already. No sign of any action. We're not far now from the Allington Bridge, Baines. Yeah, yeah, but there seems to be some sort of diversion ahead, Lady Penelope. Oh, I've got to get to those trapped men. I've simply got to. Never mind. Leave this to me. Oh, uh, what seems to be the trouble, Constable? 
Oh, I thought I recognized the car, my lady. I'm afraid there's a spot of trouble at the river. Uh, yes, yes, so I believe. Can't you let us through? Oh, I wouldn't recommend it, my lady. There's a large crowd of sightseers gathered at the bridge to watch the rescue operations. The approaches are completely blocked. What's that you say? Completely blocked? Oh, dear. How tiresome. I hate crowds. Well, uh, thank you, Constable. Oh, pleasure, my lady. I... I tell you, I've simply got to get through, Lady Penelope. I just couldn't face the fellas back at the base if I hadn't tried to do something. Now, now, I quite understand, dear boy. Now, why don't you cut across the fields here and make your own way to the bridge? Yeah, but what about you? I'll see if we can't arrange some kind of rival attraction that will draw the crowds away. Oh. Oh. oh okay, then. Good luck, Brains. <laughs> Quickly, Parker. Let's take the side road. Hello, Central Control. Control, go ahead. Our diver managed to get a radio link out of the hull. You should be able to talk to them now. There must be something we can do in here to stop the takeoff. Not a thing, Frank. When the countdown starts, that's it. But couldn't we... Couldn't we smash up some of the equipment or something? Yeah, we could. And the whole thing would probably explode. This is Central Control. Can you hear me? This is Central Control. Can you hear me? Come in, please. Over. They've got through, Bill. They've got through. It looks perfect. <laughs> yes, belady. Still, we'd better make sure. Yes, belady. Yes, I understand. Nine and a quarter hours and the countdown is complete. Don't worry. The cranes are in position. We'll clear the bridge wreckage and have you out of there with time to spare. Oh, thanks. We sure are glad to hear that it's all in hand. Still, uh, don't you think just to be on the safe side, unless we're wasting time, you should call International Rescue? International Rescue? Certainly not. We're in full control up here. The situation is quite in hand. Well, Parker? Uh, there's no one here, milady. We are quite alone. Very well, Parker. You know what to do? Perfectly, milady. I, uh, I trust the operation will be quite above board. Absolutely, Parker. Good shooting. What the blazes is going on over there? Uh, it seems to be coming from the old Arlington Research Center. They must have started demolition. Ah, uh, fine time they picked to do it. Still, at least it's distracted the crowds. What do you mean it'll take an hour to fit those crane cables? I'm afraid that's the best we can do. My men can only work so fast. Now listen to me. Men's lives are in danger. You'll have to get them to work faster than that. Oh, uh, uh, hi there. Do you think I can be of any help? How did you get in here? Uh, I'll call you back. Okay, over and out. Never you mind how I got here. Uh, now, what's the position? The rocket's activated itself. It's going to blow up in just under eight hours. It isn't necessary for you to inform him of the position, Clayton. Have you men attempted to call International Rescue? No, we have not called International Rescue. It's a perfectly straightforward problem that we're capable of handling ourselves. Do you mean to say this is all the equipment you've got? And what's wrong with our equipment, may I ask? Oh, this river dock stuff is antiquated. It's at least a hundred years out of date. Oh, an expert on rescue, are we? Well, I... Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, we... Uh, I... Uh, that, that is... Look, 
We haven't got time to argue. The fella's just trying to help. Yes, I suppose so, but we don't need any help from him or anyone else. Well, listen, I think you do, and I'm not going to sit by and... Oh, that's it. You're a troublemaker, huh? Clayton, keep an eye on this fellow. We can't have him running all over the site, sticking his nose in. Don't try and interfere with things you know nothing about. I'm sorry. Don't blame him too much. He's sort of upset and worried at the moment. Yeah, I, I, I understand. Now, do us a favor. Try and keep out of sight. Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> International Rescue? Calling International Rescue. Calling International Rescue. Uh, this is Brains at Allington Suspension Bridge, England. This is John Tracy at International Rescue Satellite. Is that you, Brains? What's up? Listen to me, John. And listen to me carefully. I've got a job for you. I'm all ears, Brains. What are you whispering for? Well, the thing is, I'm over here at the, the bridge in Allington, and there's a rocket which is right under the thing, under the sea, and it could be that there's a very dangerous situation building up here. What on earth's he up to now? I don't believe it. I, <laughs> I just don't believe it. He's talking into his watch. Yeah, I knew it all along. The man's a nut. Yeah, okay, Brains. I get the picture. Thunderbirds one and four required. Stand by. There's only seven hours before the rocket blasts off, Father. Okay, John. Tell Brains we'll be there as soon as we can. We've been waiting for some action. Right, Dad. Over and out. Carry on, Scott. Yes, sir. Okay, Gordon. Virgil, away you go. Good luck. Thanks, Father. to horizontal flight. On anything. You heard what they said. Took them a while to fix the cables. Relax, will you? Relax. 
Relax, he says. Take a look at that clock. There's still five more hours. Yeah, and seven gone. Hello there. This is Rescue Central Control. We're ready for the big lift. And about time, too. Sorry we've kept you waiting, but it won't be long now. Stand by all cranes. Ready when you are. Good. Then get that wreckage out of the way. Make it. Oh, yes, they will. I've got to. got time to set up again. What are we gonna do? I don't think there's enough time left. Even for international rescue. Yeah, I... I was thinking the same thing myself. should be reporting in soon. Yeah, they'll be arriving any time. It's, it's no good. I gotta call them. Rescue, Central Control. Have you contacted International Rescue yet? Over. No, I haven't. Clear the wavelength. I'm still trying. International Rescue. Calling International Rescue. Why don't you listen to me? It's a waste of time to keep on trying with that thing. As a matter of fact, they're on their way. I thought I told you. What in thunder is that? Well, I... I... I guess it must be... International Rescue. The fella's right. It is international rescue. Yes. Isn't she a beauty? I've arrived, Dad. It looks pretty bad. I can't do much until Virgil and Gordon arrive. They must be anything up to an hour behind me. Okay, Scott. What about Brains? He says he's holed up in the tower, but he's going to try to guide us in from there. What about the countdown? How much time left? It's nearly an hour since International Rescue arrived. That equipment should be here any time now. At least that's what the control said. Oh, let's stop kidding ourselves, Craddock. They can't help us now. We're going to go up with this thing, and you know it. We 
releasing part now. Listen carefully. What's it like down there? Oh, brains! You old son of a gun! Now keep tuned in. I I'll give you the full rundown. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. I, 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 I get, I get you. I see. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. You'd think they'd have the uh -huh. decency to advise me of their plans. I see. What's the matter? Okay. Mm. Yeah, and Kurt the gir girl does that way. That uh, poor yeah. chap's towing to his watch again. Not to do it. Yeah, Say, I, I, you, I should think. I don't suppose. Uh, more manageable that I don't way. suppose he, he might have escaped from somewhere, huh? And then a uh, Thunderbird 2 can lift it in sections. All right, brains. I'll try it, but it's gonna take some time. Scott? Thanks, Gordon. Thunderbird 2. It's all yours. I can't have much time left, Father. No, son. They're cutting it fine.
Gordon, is the nose cone clear yet? No. And there's only 15 minutes left. We'll never make it in time. Now, look. Uh, this may sound uh, crazy, Gordon, but this is what I want you to do. You've got to get that nose cone clear by uh, uh, firing the missile. He's still at it, poor fella. Seems to be under some delusion that he's in charge of the rescue. We're desperate enough even to listen to him. Yes, but he's just suggested they should fire missiles. Hey, what are they trying to do? Blow us to pieces? They needn't bother. Look at the time now. Is the debris uh, clear yet, Gordon? Is it clear? I, I can't see yet. It's okay, Brains. She's clear. And uh, then Thunderbird 2 can get them clear. I sort of doubt if it'll work, but it's my only suggestion. That's worth a try, Brains. Stand by, Virgil. <laughs> Quiet again. They won't give up until the end. They're planning something. Nose cone clear. Well done, uh, Gordon. It's all yours, Virgil. Yeah, with half a minute to spare. International Rescue saved them. Oh, uh, hey, well, 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 well done, uh, fellas. Yippee! Oh, you can save boy. that poor boy over there. Him. Yeah. Oh, gee, gosh. Good. Tell me, my boy, how long have you had this? Um, desire to talk to watchers. Now, try not to be afraid. I think I can help you. Mr. Corder? Uh, yes? I called about... Ah, yes. You must be the person who telephoned. Uh, a sad case. Come along, my dear. 
I'm here to take you home. Oh, but I really recommend oh, treatment. Oh, I'm afraid it's a hopeless case. Uh, here, this should cover all your expenses. He's being treated by ten of the best doctors in Europe. We really wouldn't like to tie up any more. Ready? Then come along, my poor darling. Oh, but, madam, if you would just listen... Oh, 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 thanks, Lady Penelope. Think nothing of it, dear boy. Parker's outside. I won't be a minute. Hello, Scott. Yes, I've got him. We'll be straight home. Watches? Now powder compacts? Perhaps... Perhaps it's me. Perhaps I should see a psychiatrist. <laughs> International Rescue here. Jeff Tracy speaking. Okay, I'll get it. Hey, Scott! What are you doing? What's Dad calling us? Well, what's the matter with you, Brains? Oh, nothing. It's just that if you're gonna start talking to teapots, uh, there's a guy I think you ought to see. <laughs> <laughs>